time for the big morning show, Inflation Fighters. Brought to you by Pinhook Flea Market. Saving you money every Wednesday through Saturday at 3131 West Pinhook Road. We can save a time. Come on. When we're living with inflation. Here's today's tip from Fast and Renee. Contrary to popular belief, inflation is still very much alive and well. Now, maybe July was good because we didn't see growth in the percentage of inflation, but inflation still exists. So how do we fight and combat what is happening to the money in our wallets and our checking accounts that is vanishing before our very eyes? Well, like they say, it's still bad, bad. It's bad. bad. Um, Did you know... That hot water is the second largest expense in your powering your home. It is. According to the Energy Department, your hot water impacts you like probably you haven't thought about it. And there are a couple of things that you can do to maybe save money just inside your home. If you say don't bathe, we're going to have a problem. Well, actually, no, I wouldn't say that. (laughs) Trust me. Uh, but, But taking two minutes off of your hot shower could save five gallons of hot water, which, you know, when you look at it just from a 30,000 foot view of how much money you spend heating water. Okay. Also, replace your shower head or at least clean it out. Make sure that it's efficient, too, so that you get more of the water and it comes out right. I learned a new trick of how to do that that I didn't know. Fill up a Ziploc with vinegar uh-huh. and submerge the head while it's still on the shower, put a rubber band around it, and do it overnight. Let it soak, and the vinegar will take all the gunk out of it. I did not know that. I just learned that. Uh, and then I feel like uh, I feel like iced tea and stone cold here. Uh, don't wash your clothes in hot water. Uh, warm or cold water will do the laundry and cut your energy usage by half. Wow. One, another thing, too, that... Uh, that <laughs> This is personal preference. I personally like my water hot. Right. But a lot of times families with young kids and stuff, they don't have their water heater as quite as high. Right. But they say that the default temperature setting on your water heater is typically 140. If you lowered it to 130 or even 120, you could save 10% in the money that you spend. So there you go. Hopefully those are some things that you hadn't thought about. Your inflation fighting tip for today. We'll do it again next week for you. Brought to you by Pinhook Flea Market. Love the flea.